episode of Sailing Frida Wiesby. In the previous episode, we did a lot of boat projects together with Supermar behind me. But in this episode, we will turn around and uh, look more at Lagos as a town and uh, the surroundings. And we will do four expeditions out there to Ponta da Pieta de, or the Cave Coast, as it's also called. Welcome to Sailing Frida of Visby. We are a middle-aged couple that has left our hectic working life for a life where plants have ridden in the sand. We have sailed from the Chile Sweden in the Nordic countries along the Atlantic coast of Europe to the Mediterranean Sea. We sail to enjoy the pleasure of the sea, see amazing places, eat good and meet new people. Sometimes we do maintenance and projects and we want to share our sailing life with you. This is Frida Wiesby, our O'Keefe for the Seven Pilot Saloon. My name is Anders. I am Gita, and this is Litsa, the truly free spirit on board. Shortly after our arrival in Lokos, we took a walk along the channel then to the beach with the cliffs. Walk, walk way here along the channel into the marina. How come the stars to the fort? come to shine when it's dark? Just at the end of the so far away, the channel. Show us where we are. It's like a labyrinth. <laughs> really fun, but there are warning signs uh, all over because they may fall down uh, stones. It's a tiny little cave. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of I understand why they call this uh, why does cave coast. Always keep <laughs> we suddenly got the beach for ourselves. Really nice. It really makes me wonder. It sounds like there is a restaurant. Uh, oh, was. sand is wet so when it's high tide I assume that most of those beaches are filled with water I think you need swimming clothes if you are to pass by here I gotta get out here with my kayak amazing amazing place yeah nice this is nice. Really cool place. Yeah, I saw the bridge. But then you stop there. Trying to find the restaurant. After our dinner, it was time to go back home to Frida. Now we go to Ponta da Piedra by bike. Something's wrong with Anna's bike. So we might get a shorter bike tour than we thought. But he managed to fix it, so we continued out to, along the coast to the lighthouse. And 
fantastic. Lite långt ner där borta. Ja, det är inte, det är inte att gå ner och bada eller dyka ifrån. Här är en pass sen, men det, ja, det är klättring för att komma dit. Jag hade inte sprungit om jag eller låtit min unge springa. The point where the lighthouse is. I think that this bird is a common kestrel, but it can also be a lesser kestrel falcon, which is an endangered species. If you know, please put a comment down below. The Kai Cooper reached the caves, it looks like. Amazing place. Yeah. I would have loved to kayak down there. I really would have loved to. Listen to the sound. Yes. Amazing. If you want to make me happy and help me grow the channel, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget the little bell button. Back in Lagos and we take a look at the town. Apple TV. Exactly. On an Apple TV, we are running our on our TV to look at Swedish TV streaming. The problem is that app that they're running on on web service is not as good as the app that they can run on Apple, and they also have it for Apple TV. So I want an Apple TV to make sure that we don't lag as much as we do for the moment. So we are going to go for a walk after we have eaten. We have actually ordered burgers. Burgers and <laughs> beer. That's, that's good in, in the heat. <laughs> it's 20, Some, 25 something. Yeah, it's nice, nice here in the shadow. Different way to serve a burger, but um, it looks quite nice. Around the old town in Lagos there is a city wall, just as there are around Visby where we come from. Time for our third visit to Ponta Piedra, this time by tour boat. And uh, it was quite windy and wavy, so we are happy that we took the tour boat instead of our own uh, dinghy, because uh, I'm not sure we would have dared to go into the caves by ourselves. It was a last minute idea, so I didn't have my microphone nor the gimbal with me. But, um, but we hope you enjoyed the tour anyway, and maybe you will get a feeling for how bumpy the ride was when the picture is moving up and down. Otherwise, you can listen to the land lovers behind us.
He is called the Pirate Day because in the inside, if you have some glasses, you better remove it to see it there. In the inside of the rock, back there, in the background. I love this.
was a Portuguese flag on an unusual place. Hit the thumbs up if you saw it and uh, comment down below if you did. And I couldn't resist to go out there by kayak. Great to be out kayaking. It's fantastic here. And today is a really flat world so I, I decided to go outside the harbour. Kayak out of the harbour. Just a little bit. And uh, right there I am with the first clips. Ah, some, some arches and there is the bridge that comes out. So we were having a drink beach restaurant the other day. Let's see if I can go through somewhere. easy to film and kayak at the same time. So. Amazing kayak tour here on the Algarve coast. The weather is perfect. It's a little bit chilly when you're wet on the skin. But it's the middle of November, so I don't complain. This is an amazing experience. This is exercise and relaxation at the same time. This is what I love about kayaking. And it's a great compliment to the liverboard sailing life. Oh, I drifted into the shadow. Better start paddling again. Okay, I'm cheating. I'm really not this fast. Wow. That's the tunnel I just came through. That cliff over there, the kind of kayak is pointing to right now. It's called Titanic because it looks like a ship. A big tour of Titanic and then I think it's time for me to turn back. It's dark quite quickly and when it gets dark it also gets cold. I only wear shorts and a sport bra and my life jackets. Going around the stern of the Titanic cliff. Ah, I suppose the big one is the iceberg. You see it? There's lots of birds on those cliffs. I assume it's good places there. Safe there from humans and Predators. Sorry that my leg gets into the lens. But I need to squeeze my phone quite hard between my knees not to drop it. Back in the boat, Anders had visited by Sopomar to plan a big project. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. those two will, will strengthen up the two together. The two together. Two, for, for this, it gives the strength by connecting to this. Yeah and it gives a plate to so put the solar, solar panel. panel. So it does th three things. Three things. Yeah. So that's the, that's, that's the idea. Yeah, and that will be moved out to here to when when I have something to put it on. Yeah. But for the moment it is yeah, here. Sure, it's <laughs> and we can, we can try to keep that on the, on the, on the, on the 
because you need a small plane to No, the... I'm doing that now. Ah, you put out okay. So, so I'm, going to, I'm going to kill this thing. Yeah, yeah, one thing that I want also would like to help with, but that's much a smaller job, is I, when I take this off, I would like to mount um, my grill here, okay. the barbecue. the barbecue. And I have a barbecue which is not made for boats, which means that it has no no way of being connected, fixed. Okay. So I would like something kind of a bracket or something. So, uh, some type of bracket in, in stainless steel. And this uh, and the uh, of the tube, yeah. A technician what? from Supermarket is this this only? Dis no, discussing yeah, okay. and, uh, the construction of our arch and uh, solar panel frames that we want to put on here. And the arch is also going to have davits so we can lift the dinghy. Now we invite you to a little bit of lazy marina life. Radiasla is sitting in the cockpit enjoying the view and eating lunch. the fish it was big and it jumped four or five times and of course as soon as I get the camera up there's nothing isn't this a beautiful home we feel so lucky to live like this morning another sunny day here in Lagos and uh, I'm doing well what normal tasks that you do in a household and as you do as a liverboard I'm hanging the laundry Friday evening Swedish TV and uh, some good food pink rats in, in a boat it's a got a new toy. She seems to like it. <laughs> Is it dead? Oh, not quite. Stay tuned to hear what the next episode is about. Hope you enjoy this episode and uh, in the next episode we will celebrate Christmas together with my brother Basil. Uh, he will arrive here. And we will do some excursions around here on the Algarve. And uh, I will also make a separate episode just with our solar arch panel project. See you next time. Thanks for watching Sailing Freedom Eastby. Inspire you.